What up, what up, it's your boy, Tech G up in this bitch, alright, representing the Southside devs, East Coast devs, you know what I mean, you heard, ah, alright guys, Voyager, keyboard, hardware, software, we're looking at the software today guys, alright, let me show you guys this special uh, website where you can map the keys on your keyboard all right let's do a quick tour of the keyboard you got your one twos and three special keys up here six seven eight nine etc etc you got your qwerty layout all right to split keyboard you know let's look at the modifier keys over here this is my backspace and my shift my command and space my option my modifier key if i hold down this it unlocks all of these keys. All right, you're writing code. You're gonna need these brackets, these special characters. Navigation volume. There's special keys here. We can talk about that later. On the right side, holding down this key unlocks these keys. Navigation. LED settings. All right. More navigation. I got them on both sides. I hold down this key, I can navigate by pressing these keys. If I hold down this key, I can do that here as well. More shortcuts because who doesn't love to save time and keystrokes? All right. You still with me? Are you, are you still there? I hope you are. All right. So thumb keys. If I hold down this key, I unlock these we mentioned that this is also my enter if i use my thumb i click here that's an enter if i click over here with the other thumb key it's a tab all right if i hold it down it's control right you still with me this other side this is my backspace and if i hold this down it's my shift over here if i hold down this key this other thumb key it activates these keys all right what does the software say? It says activates layer two. Okay, let me backtrack. Holding down this key activates this layer of keys. Holding down this key activates these keys and this layer. You still with me? This is also the space button, all right? Let's go on the right side of the keyboard. If I double tap here, this is mapped to a double tap, it becomes an escape. Where's my other escape? Over here. Two ways to escape. Do you see the efficiency now? If I tap on my single quote, this is a single quote, but if I hold down, it becomes a command. Where's my other command? Right here. I can do things like command save, command copy, command paste by holding the right side and pressing the left side. If I need to do a command new window, I can hold down this command and press this end button here. I can do all of that. I can swap between the two. And it's so efficient because it's within reach of all your, your main fingers, right? I mean, your main four fingers, all right? What else do we have? If I, if I click with my right pinky, I can enter and return right here with my right pinky. Where's my other return? Remember? It's over here, my left thumb. Two places to return. I fucking love that. Regular keyboards, you have one big ass space button. You have one return button here. Now, with this keyboard, you can unlock both sides of your hands do the similar commands right here's my other option and there's my other option right you see what before with with just your thumb with your thumbs you can only mainly space and do some modifier keys but now with this keyboard you can shift you can backspace you can do other spaces uh, you can tab you can return with your thumbs it's crazy right Here's some next level shit I want to throw at you guys. Think of your four main fingers that you use, right? Your 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 index, your middle, your ring, and your pinky. Now you can do these actions with those fingers. All right. So what did I do? I put a Control Shift Command Option in the four main keys right here. I did that on the other side as well. All right. This makes typing and just producing code and just producing work so much more efficiently. Now I can control my fucking computer 
with just eight fingers. I don't even need my thumbs. Isn't that nuts? I can do most of the work with just my main four fingers by having this configuration. It's so insane. I'm doing command here. I'm doing command there. I'm doing command here. I'm entering here. I'm entering there. Backspacing here. Backspacing there. I'm using both fingers, both hands. It's so much more efficient with this keyboard, with this hardware that allows for ergonomics um, and just more efficient typing. Paired with the software, it truly optimizes the way you type and the way you put in work. It's fucking insane. On top of that, it's very comfortable and it's a high quality, pristine product on top of that you can't have this software without this hardware you can't have this hardware without this software it's so fucking good all right it is it's fucking unbelievable this keyboard i'm sure there's great ones out there but i haven't tried them i don't have the money to try them i don't have the time to try them but this one my god this keyboard is so fucking nuts. And you can customize it to your liking. If you have a better way to create shortcuts, to, to optimize your, your output, to make your life easier with this keyboard, let me know. I am curious. I am genuinely curious about how you guys are setting up your keyboards because I want to learn. I want to modify. I want to continuously improve my layout. But this has been the best. Um, best setup for me all right so again i mentioned earlier if you hold down these two keys it unlocks different layers so this is layer one um let's let's go through a few shortcuts i have this is the redo so if you hold down here and tap here you get command shift z that means you could redo for for all you code writers um you could undo something you can redo it that makes it easier over here you can shift your lines of code uh, so in VS Code, you do command left bracket, right bracket, and that shifts the lines of code. If you know, you know, right? If you know, you know. Uh, if you don't know, then you better ask somebody, right? Holding down this key unlocks this layer, this whole layer. So this is my archive shortcut. So it's control E. For all you players out there, for all you ballers out there, for all you OG fucking dev guys out there, you know, that bang on Outlook, Microsoft Outlook, the email service. You know what's up with Control E. Don't de don't delete your emails. Archive that bitch. Archive them. Trust me, I made that mistake. Learn from my mistakes. Archive that bitch. All right. For me to archive, hold down this key. Press this one. That's it. Easy peasy. All right. Try to archive with your current keeper. Guarantee you, it fucking sucks. I guarantee it. It sucks. So much easier on this keyboard. Window swap, command back to. I know that. All right. First of all, this. Everything I'm showing you is from Mac user. I'm sorry, I don't use Windows. I just don't. I don't. But you can probably do this for Windows as well. If you want to swap Windows on a browser, hit command back tick. Easy peasy. Hold down this, unlock the layer, press this key. That's it. Navigation, there, previous tab, next tab, command shift left bracket, command shift right bracket, right? This is good if you're in your browser, if you're in VS Code, you need to switch between panels, different windows. Hold down the layer key here, shift, sift through that bitch, that's it. If you have your window showing, if you have your, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I'll, I'll edit that out later. If you need to cycle through your uh, different desktop panels, again, hold the layer key, layer one key, navigate between them. Easy peasy, mine easy, so fucking easy. God damn it! Make these modifications on your keyboard if you know what's good for you. If you have a better way, let me know. I'm curious. Let me know. I want to learn. Right? Same thing here. You hold on this layer two key, navigate, navigate. Simple as that. Simple as that, guys. This is the fucking software. It's like configure.zsaw.some shit. I don't know. Buy the keyboard and you'll know. They'll let you know. 
go to this site, you know, unbox your keyboard, plug that bitch in, go here, use my modification. No, no, first of all, learn how to type with the stock configuration. Once you get good at that, it's going to be a pain in the ass. This is going to be fucking hard. And once you're good at that, try these modifications out. If you're writing code, my God. My God, you... You'll be in disbelief of how, how, how fun it is to type again. Typing is fun, oh my God. It is fucking fun again. Alright? And it's so much more efficient. Right? Check out my layout. Try it out. Improve upon it. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you you would change. Let me know. All right. I'm very curious about how you guys out there are doing this because it's so fucking fun to customize these keyboard. All right. Key takeaways. Solid fucking keyboard. 360 bucks. It's worth it. This is not sponsored. I paid my hard-earned fucking greenbacks to get this keyboard. Big shout-outs to, to Zisa. The Voyager keyboard is it's a fucking hitter. It's a banger. Quality keyboard, quality hardware, quality, quality, quality. The top of that, the switches, boy. Oh my God, the switches. You know, imagine that you see somebody that you're really into, got a banging body, and they got the brains too. Whatever you're into, you know, whatever kind of person you're into, banging body, banging brains and personality. It's the fucking keyboard, bro. Shit. Get this keyboard, man. Don't fuck with them cheap Amazon ones. Unless, I, unless you're on a tight budget, get the cheap ones. You don't need this keyboard. You don't need this keyboard. But if you got that extra De Niro, you got that extra cheddar, you know what I mean? You got that extra uh, little disposable income and whatnot. Forget those beers, man. Forget that concert ticket, dog. Get this keyboard, bro. It's worth it. Fuck it. Spend a little money. Enjoy. Invest in yourself. Alright? Again, unsponsored. I'm giving it to you raw and uncut. Hell, I'm not even going to edit this video because fuck it. This is going off the top of my brains. My, my, my noggin and whatnot. Get this fucking keyboard, bro. Get this software. If there's better ones, let me know what you guys think about other keyboards. I'm curious. I wish I had the money to fucking be a keyword connoisseur like some of these other guys on YouTube. But fuck, I don't got that kind of money, bro. Fuck, man, I'm not made of money. It's a recession going on right now, bro. Can't even find a fucking another job if I wanted one, you know? Market's tight. Keyboard's expensive. Market's tight, bro. Money, money ain't, ain't cheap no more, man. All right? It's not cheap. And this keyboard's not cheap. It's not. It's fucking expensive. It's hard to learn on. It's, it's very hard to learn on. But once you do, my God. How the hell did I live like that before? How did I use those other shitty keyboards? All right, I can still use my Mac keyboard. Don't get me wrong. I can switch between this keyboard, my Mac keyboard, and any other Windows keyboards. I still got that muscle memory. But uh, there were moments, man. I, I started doubting myself. I'm like, why the fuck am I using this keyboard? It's so fucking hard to use. But once you get good at it, bro, fuck. Once you get good at it, my God. All right. Tuck G up in this bitch. I'm sorry. Tech G up in this bitch. I'll holler at you guys next time. Let me know if you have questions, comments, improvements. Other keyboards you're trying, other layouts you're trying, let me know. I'm curious, bro. Fucking let me know. All right? I got to get back to work. Wasted so much time. Not wasted, but I spent so much time uh, making this video. But you know what? What makes it easier? Secret is I'm not going to edit it. <laughs>